Okay, good afternoon. And to begin with, we are going to, you'll notice that I have some folders here. We're going to create some fol a folder for you. We're going to come here. We're going to click on folder. And because this is our startup practice, we're going to call it startup. We're going to create this new folder called startup so we can store all of our startup work in this folder. Click startup and now we have nothing in here. There are no documents in this folder. So create document and this is going to be practice one because it's going to be our first practice. Here we go. I'm going to start sketch. I want to choose the front plane and then I'm going to come over here on the side, uh, on the right side where this cube is, isometric cube, and I'm going to click on front and that's going to move it all so that it's facing towards me. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. You can see this is the, the window where it thinks I should draw, but that window doesn't mean anything. I can go outside of that. Uh, it's just a suggestion and it doesn't mean anything. So I'm going to start with my line tool because remember once we choose sketch all the tools at the top change. So I'm going to start with my line tool and I want to draw just a random thing. It doesn't matter what it is. Maybe you're going to make it look like a fork. I don't care. Or a chair something. It doesn't matter what it is. Uh, it could be a cannon, I don't know, whatever that is. It doesn't matter. Uh, but it does need to be closed out. You need to close it out so that it becomes dark on the inside. <clears throat> We're going to come and use the rectangle tool. So I'm going to click on the rectangle tool. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to create a rectangle. Now I want you to see on here that there are dimensions that are starting to be uh, pulled out as I move my square around. When I click, they highlight and I could type inside of that. Don't click on that. If you don't click on that, you can type in numbers. Come over here, move my mouse, move my mouse, but I'm not clicking on it. So don't click on it. I'm going to move my mouse away so it's not going to be tempting for me to click on it. And I'm going to say, 1.5. I just type 1.5. Don't hit backspace. Don't hit anything. Just type. I'm going to click enter. And again, I'm going to type 1.5. Don't hit backspace. Your tendency is to hit backspace first. We don't want to do that. All right. So now I've created my square that is 1.5 by 1.5. I'm now going to choose the down arrow next to the rectangle. And I'm going to choose my center point rectangle. That center point rectangle is going to allow me to draw a rectangle on a point, And the point will be the center of it. So I'm going to choose this bottom right corner of this new square. I'm going to click. I'm going to pull a rectangle out. And it doesn't matter what size it is because I'm going to type in some numbers. I'm going to click. And I'm going to type 1.5 enter and I'm going to type the number one enter and so it forced that into that shape now move this other square I don't care about that right now we can learn how to not let it move later so don't worry about that right now and that's all the tools that are in there so now we're going to go to the circle tool and I'm going to draw just a random circle oh that's still square we don't want that now look I'm pulling I'm moving my mouse I can come over here and turn off the square. It's turned off. Let me turn on the circle. I'm going to come over here and now I'm going to draw a circle. If you had clicked, it would create that square. I don't want to click. All right, so now I'm going to make my circle and I am going to click. And I want this circle to have a diameter of one. Enter. Created a circle with a diameter of one. That's what that little zero with a line through the middle of it. That means diameter. Okay. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to choose my next tool. This is a three point circle. Now three point circle. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click on the three points in this shape. 
and create that circle on those three points. So it's going to create a circle that touches all three of those points. Next one is going to be the ellipse. I'm going to draw the ellipse. I'm going to click. I'm going to move sideways on the ellipse. Click. I'm going to move up and down on the ellipse. And now there are two numbers in there. I'm going to start with, now, oops, if I move my mouse over here, it will highlight that one and you want to make sure that you know which one you're highlighting. Okay, so I want my ellipse to be two, enter, one, enter. And there's my ellipse, a two inch by one inch ellipse. I'm going to go to the arc tool. I'm going to draw an arc. I'm going to come across. It doesn't matter how far. The number that's going to give us a chance for drawing this arc. And I want that arc to be 0.75. Enter. I'm going to do another one below it. And I'm going to have it go the other direction. And it's also going to be 0.75. Enter. Now, it created this. If I turn off the ellipse tool, I can come over here and I can take this number and I can move it. I can even move it outside. Doesn't matter where you move it. So if that was bothering you where it took that and pulled it through over here, it's just showing you that that dimension, the radius is going all the way across. And that's why it has an R in front of it for radius. The zero with a line through it means diameter and the R means radius. So we have a radius of 0.75 and a radius of 0.75. Okay. Next one, we have tangent arc. I'm not going to worry about tangent arc. Um, now, you know what? Let's do tangent arc. If we take a look at it here, tangent arc means that I can touch on this point, come over here, and it will keep it tangent, like that circle was coming off of that straight line. So it's going to make that circle so that it looks like it's right in the middle. And if that circle were straight, it would come back around over here. So it's just going to go where it would be straight coming off of it. Not like here, where it's coming back in and curving back in. This is going to go straight. And that's what tangent arc means. It's going to make it tangent or touching coming straight off of. All right, next one's going to be a center point arc. I'm going to do the center point arc off of the top of this uh, top left corner of our square. I'm going to come off and it doesn't matter what size you make this, okay? I am going to try to make it on the side coming straight out and it will give you a yellow line that will help you make it come straight off. So I'm going to click and then I'm going to draw that circle and it doesn't matter where I move my mouse. I'm going to draw that circle and touch right at my line coming up and down. Oops, come over here so it'll be 75% of a circle. Okay, last one is the conic. This is the one we were talking about yesterday that makes it look like McDonald's. Two clicks, click, click, and there's my McDonald's. Hooray! Now we're gonna use the inscribed polygon. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. My inscribed polygon, I want you, I don't care what size they are, I want you to make a five-sided polygon, which is a pentagon. And we're going to come here and use the circumscribed polygon. And I want you to make a little triangle. Click. Triangle. There you go. Next one is going to be the spline tool. And this is the one I was telling you. It's going to make the weird shaped thing and you can make any shape you want. Oh look, it's the letter K. Woohoo! 
there is a down arrow here and we have the spline point don't worry about that we're just going to click with the first spline work with the first spline all right next one we have a point obviously i could make a point that doesn't matter it can make point 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 it doesn't matter okay uh it you could use those points to do something with later on we're not going to worry about the point tool last one we're going to do is going to be your text tool i want you to draw a box across the top and i want you to type your name and i want it to be your real first name so you're going to write your name green check mark and it will write your name in there and that's what i want you to do and this is what you're going to turn into me should take you, oh, I don't know, less time than it took me to do all these things because I had to talk my way through. Uh, and that's what you're going to do. And you're going to turn this in. Green check mark. Green check mark closes it out, makes it finalized. And then you're going to hit control and then the square with two lines. And that makes a screenshot. Control and square with two lines. And that's the assignment you're going to turn in. Good luck. Ask your teacher questions if you need help. This is your assignment for today.